Welcome back. Today I'll be talking about the song Ode to Joy. Now the melody um, is really simple. You'll find it will fit under your fingers in a matter of minutes. It's mostly stepwise and quarter notes. The main challenge will be the chords. There are seven chords in this piece and most of the chords move in a harmonic rhythm of two chords per measure. So that means your left hand will be really busy. So we're going to recommend the down 2x strum, which will sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now besides making it a little easier to do those transitions on the chords, it also sounds good because Ode the Joy sort of has a swing to it. When you listen to the melody, kind of rocks back and forth. And by strumming on beats one and three, you bring out that sort of cut time, like feel, big steps. Now besides strumming every two beats, I, there's something we call a rhythm fill. In music theory they call it a gauche accent. When you get to the end of the phrase, you can play a little faster rhythm to create some tension and release. So O to Joy, has a very simple phrase structure. There's four phrases. Each phrase is four measures long. And if you look on your music, each line is the phrase. So what I'm going to do is, when I get to the final measure of each line, I'm going to strum four times instead of two. And that will create a nice tension release and push into the next phrase. It'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> A lot of times drummers will do that, the bass player will do the fill and so forth, but it's a way of creating a little bit more interest and drama in the piece. For the second half of the video, I'll be doing a demonstration of the melody. 